for our project, we are going to be drawing a full view of the face. This is an example of a full view of the face. Now, on these, usually when you have portraiture, you have the full, like the straight on view, or you have this three quarter view where your head is tilted slightly to um, one direction or another. Or sometimes you even have the profile view, which you're completely turned to where you can just see the side of their face. But today, we're going to learn about drawing the full view. And I thought it'd be easy to explain if you could see a picture and understand the spacing. So when you begin, you're going to want to do an oval. And I'm gonna kind of just do this kind of free flowing so that um, I can really get the shape of the oval that I want. So and it's usually just, let's see. I'd say about that's the oval. Now, your eyes, are actually halfway between the top of your head and your chin. So halfway is right there. And see how that's about where her eyes are? Then halfway between the eyes and the chin, you're gonna have the nose. And then halfway between the nose and the chin, you're gonna have the mouth. Now, once we have those, and you can kind of see where I got those from, if you want to look again, see how you've got eyes, nose, mouth. This is roughly the shape. Now you'll adjust it and fix it as you go. But then we start drawing in our information. Now the easiest way to do this is to have is to have the draw the nose first because the nose if you have the nose first then you can do the rest of your spacing so and I forgot to do the middle line middle line here now your nose is in the middle and it's on this not this eye line nose line mouth line so right here and we see the nostrils we see a bump big and then over see how that's you have the bump bump Bump. Then you'll have kind of the ball part of your nose that kind of gives you, since we're drawing, it kind of makes it look like it's coming out. Now, once we have our nose, it's easy for us to do our eyes because if you go up from your nose edge, that's where your eyes begin and end. So if we follow this up here. I know that this is where her eyes will start. Now, what you can do is you can decide on how, how wide you want one. Like if I want this one to be that wide, then measure it and just mark the other one. So you have them both the same distance apart. We can adjust the shape of the face once we're done. That's why I just kind of did it in a different color. But your eyes, you're gonna have a frowny face and you want it to be about the same height for both of them. Then you're gonna do a tear duct. Tear duct always faces your nose. And then you're going to do the bottom. And you kinda of wanna make sure that this distance is the same as this distance. Sometimes you gotta go back and kind of adjust them as you go. Now, and people's eyes are all different. Hers kinda of go up and over. Hers kinda of slant an angle like this. We have ours going straight. But your next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do the pupil, and that's this colored part, and you see it starts here and runs into the lid, but you have this line right here, your eyelid line. So when you draw it, you're gonna draw your circle, and then that's where the rest of your circle would be. That'll give us where we need to do that eyelid line, because we have the eyelid line that kind of follows on top. See how you see this little line right here? That's where her eyelid is then the pupil, which is the black part, is actually in the middle of the circle. Not in the middle of what shows, but in the middle of the circle total. Now, once you have your eyes, then you can do your eyelids, or eye, eyebrows. They usually go in a little bit from your nose. Your nose line is right here, and you can put that in if you want. I wouldn't do it all the way to the cheeks or all the way to the nose because it spreads out and thins out as you get to your cheeks 
but then your eyebrows come off of that line. They go, they're a little bit wider than your eye here and a little bit wider than your eye here. Let's see, make sure they... Okay. So, and if you were to like use your finger, usually they're about a finger's disc on a real person. If you put your finger right above your eye, your eyebrow would be where you, above your finger. So, we have our eyes, we have our eyebrows, we have our nose, now our mouth. Now, if you look at your mouth, you see this little divot right here that comes down from the middle of the nose. So, what you're going to do is your lips actually rest, her lips are kind of bigger, but they rest on that line. They're not, the middle is not that line. But, so, your lips rest on this line. You have these little lines here that go down from your nose. And then in the middle of that you have a little bit of a V. Now some people have wider V's than others, but most of us have something. Then if you go down from the middle of your eye and follow that down, that's where your mouth ends. So use this as a reference again. It's going to be midway here. So then you can connect those lines over. Then your middle line, and I did try it. You can tell that this is a little bit higher than where it should be. Your middle line goes here. Yeah, that little, that little bump again. She didn't really have one. Most people do. Um, connect it over. And then you're going to draw your bottom lip. So that's your lips. Remember this, if you follow this line down, that's where that one goes. And if you follow this line up, that's where your nose goes. So your, your, eye, your face is very uh, proportioned. Now your ears, and you can kind of see her ear here, but she's looking down a little bit, so we're not going to use her. Um, your ears start at your eyes. Now let's get this equal. So we know that this is going to be right here. This could be right here. You know you have a chin. So sometimes I just put a chin in and then you kind of connect your jaw. And that'll give you, let's not make her chin so de defined. That'll give you your shape for here. Now your ears, they start at the eye line and go down to the nose line. And we know this if you wear glasses because that's how your glasses fit on your head. And this is like the top of her head. But most people, your hairline starts about an inch down. And your hairline is like this. So anything above that is going to be hair. So, usually you have a part of some sort, one side or the other, some people part in the middle, you have your part, and then your hair comes down and over. And then your whole head is going to be this part up here. Now your neck, and I'll go over how to draw um, shorter hair in a second. This would be if you just kind of had like long hair. Your neck kind of follows where your lip line is goes down, goes down, and then you would see the hair behind here, however, however their hair is doing that. Now, if you had short hair, you had short hair, here's your eye line, here's your hair line, you would just have short hair, maybe some sideburns, and then you may have a part, but you're just gonna have kind of short hair that kind of goes over. And then you may see a little bit that hangs a little bit behind your head, but you usually don't see it before your neck. Does that make sense? You may have some short, you know, however length you wanna have it. So, this is how to draw, and it should be 
pretty close. Most people have a different, different shapes than others, but this is pretty average. But you'll draw your circle first, or oval. Then you'll draw your eye line, nose line, mouth line. Then you'll just draw your start with the nose. And that will give you the spacing for everything else. I hope you enjoy drawing a portrait.